Hello everybody and today I'm going to be doing a mod showcase called the let's do wine mod or the vinery mod and you can actually see there are various wines crafting recipes and probably some new blocks that you might see and this will become very handy if you want to use the mod and it does work probably well with the farmer's delight mod so let's just go ahead and just review some drinks okay so we have the new items in the chest here like look at all these cool items and you can actually craft all of these and some of them you gotta find them through dungeons and all that stuff but um i'm just gonna go step by step or try to explain the best ways i can with these stuff because um, they look pretty cool and um, I just want to showcase this today. In order to get some grape seeds, all you just got to do is just break some grass and when you break the grass, you either get red grape seeds or white grape seeds. For example, I could sit here and mine countlessly right here and see, there's a chance that it will drop some red grape seeds and you can actually get white grape seeds. So all you just got to do is just basically clear up your um, place and we already got some white grape seeds. But I know the drop chance is slightly low because um, I think they're trying to not make this tool for power. But if you play with the Farmer Delight mod, then you will basically be getting them all the time. Or you're just going to have a lot of grapes and a lot of wine just to sit back and enjoy. Also, the only two saplings that are added into this game are old cherry saplings and cherry sapling. So let me just grab these saplings. And I forgot to tell you guys this, you can also go around in your world and find some red grape bushes. And all you just gotta do is just right click and you just get a grape. I mean, it's pretty easier to get. However, um, it, it acts just like a sweet berry bush, but you cannot rejuvenate it just like that because, well, it's a wild red grape bush and you can just use something else just to grow grapes. But, um, it's just going to behave a little bit like a sweet berry bush. So I'm just going to grow a cherry sapling and see what happens. Okay. See, this is what you get. A cherry tree. And in order to get cherries, I know you have to break the blocks in order to get cherries. Because, I mean, cherries grow from trees. Hmm. But I'm not sure if I'm picking it right because, um... I haven't really understood, or I may have to use an axe. You may have to use an axe just to get some cherries off this tree. Because, well, I think that's how it works. But um, I am not 100% sure. So let me just go ahead and just break the tree. And it might drop some cherries. So let me just go ahead and just grow an old cherry tree. And it's just an older cherry tree. However, you get way more cherries. So I recommend growing old cherry trees just to get more supply in cherries. And when you use your axe, you can actually insta mine this, meaning you might be able to break the trees way more efficiently. But um, I'm not sure this is how you get cherries. There must be a proper way of getting cherries, probably using a hoe. But I'm just making assumptions, but I think drops may be pretty low. But I am just guessing. Um, I, I really don't know, guys, because I'm not seeing no cherries. But um, I'm just going to show you guys what would a cherry look like because I think they will drop stuff out of those trees. So this is what it would look like when you drop it out of a tree. That's how you get cherries just by breaking trees and probably soaking them or something or just do something with them. But I just know that you got to mine cherry trees. Also, what you could do is you can actually make big bags of cherries or bag with red grapes, bag with white grapes. It's the same crafting recipe, just like the Farmer Delights mod. You can actually merge all of these things together. Like, for example, for cherries, you just put them in a nine stack or push, put them in a stack. Yeah, to save a lot of space. And when I did the mod review earlier today, um, you can actually just make it look like this for decoration purposes. So it's pretty good to save space and it's good for as an aesthetic look of, you know, of a typical... Um, Farmer's Delight mod. These are the tools and the machines that you can actually use just to make wine. So in order to make the great vine stem, is just two stacks of oak logs just to get yourself four to make a great vine pot used to turn grapes into grape juice. You just need three um, spruce planks and two slabs. And in order to make an aging barrel, is just a barrel with two sticks. And to make a the wine press, is just a barrel with four sticks and an iron trap door. So this is the demonstration of the grape vine stem. So all you just gotta do, you can literally just break with an ax or you can just pick stuff off the tree. Um, yeah, see, 
it's just gonna stay like that. So in order just to put this on the tree, for example, all you just gotta do is just left click with the seed and you just gonna get yourself a grape vine or grape system so you can grow some of your favorite foods. And you can actually do it with white grape, not with wheat seeds, um, with white grape too. So you can actually grow two different types of grapes if you want to, just to make some good wine. And in order, when you do that, um, you can actually start putting your red grapes or your drops in here. See, and it just makes you see this little stew thing. And all you just gotta do is just put your feet or walk in here just to get yourself some of this grape juice. And in order to capture that or use it, you cannot use a typical glass bottle. So in order to use a, you know, to pick that up, you have to get a wine bottle. See, that's the only way you can do it and it can only pick up with a count of three. So if I go and grab myself another one like this and I just grab them all, you only can get a count of three. And in order to make the uh, wine bottle, like I said, you have to get two glass bottles. You just put two stacks of them on top of each other just to get yourself a count of four. And um, uh, I'm, I'm doing messy today. And in order to make the cherry jar, all you just need is two um, glass blocks and an oak slab to get yourself a count of two just to make jam. I mean, this is the only way you can make jam and only designed for cherry. Also, this is the aging barrel. Well, I do not really understand too much about the aging barrel, but I just know by doing actual research, when you put something in the aging barrel, it takes a little longer for it to process and it's supposed to, you know, load up and it's supposed to give you a, a wine. It's supposed to give you some sort of wine into this bottle so you can actually have some tasty wine. But I'm not sure if I'm doing something incorrectly or wrong, but it's supposed to be doing what it is unless someone's going to tell me a little bit about it. But um, it looks pretty cool in this design and you can actually store a lot of wine and whatnot in there or it might be redstone connected so you can actually keep putting the recipes in there but it's it just makes a pretty good um aesthetic look just to make you feel like you're at a you know at a wine bar and you just set up a whole ton of them just to show that well you have a whole lot of wine and you have the wine press i don't know too much about the wine press because um i think this must be a work in progress i might have a work in progress edition mod right here but um I just know it's supposed to do something to the wine or do something, but I don't know. But um, I just said both of these two things here do look cool, but I might just got an, um, an old version of the mod. Also, you have three new stoves and three new um, furnitures here. So you got the stove, the wooden fired oven, and the kitchen sink. So in order to create the stove, you just need five bricks, a campfire, and three iron ingots. In order to make the wood-fired oven is literally a campfire, two bricks, any type of wood or log, and three iron ingots. And in order to make a kitchen sink, you just need two iron ingots, three bricks, and a cauldron. And when you look at these again, and when I turn around, they look like these make a good add-on to the Farmer's Delight mod because there is a stove, in fact, a stove in the Farmer's Delight mod, which you can probably cook stuff on. Um, but you have a sink, the wood-fired oven, and a stove. And in order to make the sink usable, so you just need a faucet. Can be mounted on a kitchen sink. Press shift for more information. Usually this mod has more add-ons or more information to tell you on what item you're supposed to do or use. So it says some sort of an infinite water source. So in order to craft a faucet, you just need five iron ingots, just like crafting a helmet and a water bucket. So every time you keep taking water out of this thing, it's going to keep refilling. So I mean, it's the best method just to keep, you know, the, the infinite water supply, you know, safe. Instead of just use, you know, doing a four by four every time or just keep destroying it. All you just gotta do is just get some water in a sink and you're good to go. In order to use the wood fired oven, um, you just need to put some coal in here and you can actually make some good foods. Like for example, toast. In order to make toast, it says baked in the wood fired oven. In order to make toast, all you just gotta do is just get um, two pieces of wheat to make milk, bread, yam. I mean, you can make various of crafting recipes just by using the fired oven and they look pretty tasty and you can actually add some stuff in there it says might taste a little bit bitter if you might put some cherry jam on it yeah so you can actually craft some different types of foods and um this does make pretty good add-on just to you know some cooking mods and you have just a typical stove 
in order to make the cooking pot, all you just need is just four copper ingots and a wooden shovel. And you can actually make various of crafting recipes and stews. And there are some more crafting uses just to use for cherry jam. But I recommend downloading the REI mod so you guys can actually see what else can you actually make with this. Because there are some more crafting ideas and more crafting foods that you guys can actually make. And if you merge them with another mod, it might become very useful as an add-on. Now we have got the wines themselves. So you have the Melahoney wine, the Chenette wine, the Miss Litius wine, the Nor wine, the Bovar wine, the Clark wine, and the Cherry wine. So there are there are only seven different types of wine that you guys can drink. Well, I'm just gonna say they have some you know potion effects, but I'm just gonna say this. Um, hold on. I'm just gonna say this. Do not drink. If you're younger than I don't know 15, do not drink. Drinking is bad. In order to make these wines, you had the Melahoney wine, so you make that. You had to make two grape juices, two pieces of honeys, just put a wine bottle, and you and you just take some time for the aging barrel. Yes, you gotta use the aging barrel for most of these crafting recipes. So this was what I was trying to craft, but it doesn't seem like it's working because I think I must have an older version, but you gotta use the aging barrel. And this here, this looks like this is like a rare drop. It's like a, a rare, a rare type wine just to probably find, probably from something else. But um, I just know the rest here, you can actually just find through, you know, just crafting while this one here looks like an odd one. Like you can probably find it from trading with something, but I'm gonna show you guys that soon. Also, you have a little bit of more aesthetics that are shown. So you got a flower box, a wine box, a big table, flower pot and a basket in order to craft a flower box yeah that wine box the big table the flower pot and the basket and you can actually see what they look like so they're just good as little aesthetics like you can actually make it look like you know dress it up a little bit as like a little wine place or just have some more class into your home so it looks pretty cool and um, you do see some slabs and little wine holders and stuff. So let me just review that real quick with you. So you can actually make grass slabs, dirt slabs, and of course dirt slabs. So it actually expands a little bit more on just some typical dirt. You can actually mix it. You make some stuff have a little style. So in order to do that, you know what it is. You just put three across. And you can actually do it with loam slabs too. And in order to make loam... All you gotta do is just get two sands and two clay balls. So it's technically like another addition to like, you know, the typical coarse dirt slab crafting recipe. It's the same thing, but you can actually do it with clay and sand. So yeah, so that's pretty much a good add-on for builders. And you have big wine storages in order to make those. You just need four slabs, two plank four planks and a track door. To make a smaller one, you just put an oak slab and four spruce four planks yeah there's a lot of things that you can actually craft even making a drawer and to make a wine barrel um i wouldn't worry too much about it because there's no crafting recipe currently for it because i might be using an outdated version but you can actually just use any other barrel because it's the same barrel it's just a barrel with a retextured skin just to make it look a little more cooler than just a typical minecraft barrel and for the window you might have to find it from a trade to craft the table you just need um, three slabs and two sticks to make a chair you just need three slabs and three sticks to make a shelf you just need three slabs and two iron nuggets and to make a storage pot it's just three slabs but um don't get these guys confused with the um the great vine pot because the great vine pot is used for stepping in but this is what this one looks like, but you can actually put stuff in it. So I think that must be like a little bit of a confusion for some people, but just keep in mind because they're both look exactly the same. They look exactly the same, but this one here is designed to put your grapefruits in and the other one is designed just to put actual storage in. So don't get confused. This is what the window looks like. It looks pretty cool. I mean, you can literally just set this all up and just make it feel like you're at some wine bar or place or just put it in your house. You can actually sit in this chair. Look at me. I'm sitting at a chair. It looks pretty cool. And you got doors and new blocks. I mean, there's a lot of things that can go on here. And you got a cherry boat. 
So yeah, instead of just riding a typical boat, just why not ride a cherry boat? Also, you have two new mobs in here. Well, you know the donkey right here? It looks like this donkey looks like it has been retextured. And you can actually see it only holds like wine, like grape wine or grape stuff. Basically things for the typical mod. So the only thing that's been added is the, the wine mule and the wandering winemaker. So you can't see him. So let me just set, let's change the timing like this. Okay, so let's see him. Yep, so this is what the wandering winemaker looks like. He looks like a typical farmer. And when you trade with him, you can actually see that he trades some variety of things that related to the mod. To the mod. And you can actually get some, you know, grape juice and possibly wine when you find along the way. So I think this is why you can't get that main wine. You might get it from him. So keep on a lookout. Also, you have a bonfire right here. It looks pretty weird, like it's spazzing out. And you have stackable logs, a slightly improved campfire. And it says, can be ignited to create a big bonfire. So we can actually see it's bigger than what it is. And in order to craft this, you just need three oak logs and three sticks. So you're kind of like um, saving some materials because it's not like you just need a typical campfire. So this is this crafting recipe. And if you're trying to craft a regular campfire, it's literally this with a piece of coal in it. So that's what the slight difference is, but it can actually last pretty much a longer time. Probably you could possibly cook food, but it might kill the food, might make it charred, but it's good as a bonfire if you, you know, lost in the woods somewhere and you just need some light. So you just got this, but you can actually see the shield or the outsides that look like it's spazzing out, but it's still a, it's still a big bonfire. You have the winemaker set. So if you get the bonus set, you get um, bone meal won't get consumed anymore. So if you get all three of these, I mean all four of these, all you just all you're going to get is some you know pretty useful perk for any mod that requires growing seeds. So in order to craft these items here for the straw hat, all you just need is two pieces of wheat and red wool. The vine rank, vine maker apron. You just need five pieces of red wool and gloves. And rarely found crafting ingredients, so you gotta look for dungeons and look for any chests. So you keep your eyes peeled for that good thing. And to make the vine maker leggings is literally two pieces of wool, two pieces of white wool, two pieces of leather, and a piece of gold. Hmm, looks pretty expensive. And to make wine, vine maker books, it's just just two. I mean, four pieces of brown wool. And then once you get the full kit, um, I'm going to put this on. You don't see no perks. So all you just got to do is take some um, some seeds and the bone meal. And watch the bone meal count. So all you just got to do is place some wheat seeds like this. And you see the bone meal? It never goes down. That's the good, that's the good perk about the whole entire thing. You can keep growing forever and ever. Meaning if you use any type of mod that has seeds and you wear this, you always have food. So there's no such thing as not enough food. You always have food. And look at me. I look pretty much like a uh, farmer here. And look at me. I have a little, you know, badge on here. Like I have an iron rank just for farming or just for vine making. But um, yeah, this is, looks pretty cool. And um, this pretty much concludes the whole entire Let's Do Wine mod. Anyways, guys, this mod is going to be in the description below so you guys can give it a try and sip away some good tasty wine. And I recommend downloading the latest of the latest just for the, all the functionalities to work. But I might currently have an older version of it because I actually downloaded this when it first came out. So there might be some new updates just to make things a little more interesting. But I'm just, you know, covering this one for right now and there might be some good uses to it. Also, I'm going to add other links in the description too so you guys can actually make use of this mod even more. Even with the Farmer's Delight mod included just to see how cool it would make it be to make farming a little more interesting instead of just boring. But I know that adding something like this just makes the game feel a little more, you know, cherishable and have a lot of things to do other than just vanilla Minecraft. But anyways, guys, I have to go and see you guys next time on the next Minecraft adventure.